Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over WGU's new cybersecurity bachelor's degree program. It looks like they kind of revamped it a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of cover the changes they made in the new program, talk about how it's different from the old one. We're gonna look at a comparison between the two and see exactly like what they took out and what they added. We're gonna talk about study.com a little bit and how you can utilize study.com to finish this bachelor's degree in a very cost efficient manner and kind of look at how that's changed since the last version of the cybersecurity security degree. And then finally, we're going to look at a couple of different scenarios, how you can actually complete this bachelor's degree in under $6,000 going super fast or under $10,000 just going kind of fast. So getting right into things. What we're looking at here is a visual diff between the old cybersecurity bachelor's on the left and the new cybersecurity bachelor's on the right. If something's red here, it means it existed in the old one, but not the new. And if something is green on this side, it means it exists in the new version and not the old one. So basically, it looks like they removed critical thinking and logic rather they updated it with this course has a slightly different name they removed english composition one and two and it looks like they combined them possibly into this critical thinking reasoning and evidence course looks to be the case there's a more integrated physical sciences but we do have like a natural science lab down here in its place it looks like we have it they added a health fitness and wellness as well as they changed the communications course so now we have like this communicating with others and then it looks like this course was possibly upgraded this introduction to geography was removed and it looks like they added python which makes sense for a cybersecurity program they added this systems thinking which i don't know what this is i didn't look into it so sorry about that they added a linux foundations as well in the new program which makes sense right for cybersecurity and it looks like they removed this technical communication and web development foundations uh, courses rather they probably upgraded this technical communication with this potentially i'm not sure but yeah that's kind of a high level difference between the old cybersecurity program and the new one it's not a not a huge difference but I, they did make some improvements in my opinion in the general courses as well as some of the core courses as well. It's good to see Python and Linux in there. So that's that's kind of cool. <clears throat> so hopping right into the changes in terms of study.com. That's funny. There's so many people looking at this spreadsheet. But for those of you who don't know actually what this is, basically you can take classes at study.com. It's just like an educational organization. You can take classes there, get super cheap credit, as in really inexpensive credit, and then you can transfer it into WGU. And you can potentially save a lot of time and money, right? Because the study.com credits are way cheaper than WGU credit. It's, you know, the stress cost is much lower because it's cheaper and you don't have to pay for a whole term at a time, which is over $3,000. So basically the idea is what we're looking at here. This is the new cybersecurity program. All these classes are here. This column is all the classes that are in the program. This column is all the classes that you can take from study.com and potentially transfer them into the program. So if we count, the new program has 16 courses you can take at study.com and transfer them in. This tab down here is the old program. And actually, there was 19 classes that you can transfer in from the, the old one. So they kind of reduced the amount of classes you, that you can transfer into the program, which kind of sucks, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess, because the new program has more relevant classes and it's just better in general. And then talking about how you can complete these degree programs in under $6,000 and under $10,000, respectively, I kind of made this little spreadsheet here. So basically, this is so this is for the normal speed on the left and then going super fast on the right. So the normal speed, assuming remember, there's 15 courses that we can transfer in from study.com. And if we use the study.com discount code, yeah, I forgot to mention, if you use study.com, use this discount code, you'll get 30% off, which is really significant. It's like minus $60 for the first three months. Pretty good. So with the discount code, study.com costs about $140 a month, at least for the first three months. And then assuming we do two classes a month from study.com, that's about eight months of doing classes from study.com. The first three months is going to cost $140, and then the last five months is going to be $200. Total expenditure at study.com is going to be $1,420, and total cost from WGU, assuming we take two terms at WGU to finish the, the rest of the classes, it's going to cost about $9,300. So basically, the idea is you, you do all these classes from study.com, you finish them, you get your transcript, you get a transcript from study.com, you send the transcript to WGU, they evaluate it, then you register at WGU and kind of complete the rest of the classes. And if you can do them in two terms, that's when you end up with this, you know, $9,300 figure. And this is the fast speed. So assuming we have, again, 16 classes to complete at study.com, and instead of two per month, we go like some crazy, like four classes per month, right? If you do more than two classes a month at, at study.com, it's an additional like $70 per class or something, which is still insanely cheap compared to any 
any other college or WGU. So basically this is like kind of a little bit complicated mathematics, but in the end, you're gonna spend about $1,180 at study.com doing four classes per month. And then assuming you're super fast and you finish the rest of the degree program at WGU in under one term, that'll be another almost $4,000 for a grand total of $5,130 for a bachelor's degree. This is really fast. I actually know somebody who did this in my Discord. Oh, they have a YouTube channel too. So this guy actually is the one who, who, who did this, which is really impressive, but this is really reasonable. Um, it just depends on how you allocate your time and you know, you have to get strategic about it and then be really consistent, but you can definitely get cybersecurity bachelor's degree in one year if you, you know, commit and go really hard. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. If you have any requests for anything that you want to see, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.